Hi guys, it's Radtech here. I'm back after a long period of time after all the holiday and all that kind of stuff. And I'm back to welcome you with Java game development tutorials. So I'm very excited to produce these tutorials and hopefully you're excited to learn them as well. So first we need to have an application called Greenfoot, which is our application that we're making Java games in. It's built for making Java games and you can if you don't already have it, you can go download it here, greenfoot.org. So click enter Greenfoot site, click on the download section, and you need to have the Java development kit installed. So if you don't have that installed already, install that and then install Greenfoot for the operating system we're using. So, the basics let's, uh, let's maximize Greenfoot here to make it full screen, and let's go ahead and create a scenario. So go and click on scenario up here. Click new, and this is where we click our scenario. So, a scenario is basically the project we're making or the actual game we're making. So, I'll save it to my desktop. I'm going to call it Greenfoot Tutorial. Nothing special. Create, and it will just create them. And there we have it. And as you can see, the world class and the actor classes are now available to be manipulated. So, let's go and do that. Let's go and create a world. So what we do is we right click on the world and click new subclass. Now let's name it. I always call mine something that I can change the game to what I want it to be. So nothing too limited to the game. So I just call it window. So you know, I can use window of any game really. Such as if I call it crab world and I wanted to make it a car game. It would be a bit stupid. You can't rename classes once you've made them. Or actually I think you can actually. Yep yeah, you can. But anyway, yeah, I, I always call my own stuff like that at first. So let's go down here and get a nice background. I've always thought Weave is a good background. You can import yours from a file, and there are other backgrounds you can, or images you can use, but they won't really work that well with the background as they're not built for the background. So let's just go and get this. And it hasn't appeared yet, and that's why we need to click compile down here. So click compile, and there we have it. This is a 600 by 400. Background, you can change the size if you go into the win into the world class into our window, double click it. And super to so 600 by 400 by 1. So there's 600 pixels across. If I change that to 2, there is, there is basically 1200 pixels across, but each time you move or you move an object around, it goes by 2 pixels or 2 times the amount of wood. So I see that's double the size. I'm going to stick with one at the moment. And that is our world class created. We will look more into world class later in the tutorials, but for now, let's go and create an object. So, to create an object, let's right click on the actor, click new subclass, same as we did for the world, name it something, just say, let's look through the pictures first, see what we can find. So, all the animals, they're all quite good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go for a boring thing. I'm just going to go for this man right here. I'm going to call him player. If I ever want to change the image, and it still looks good. And he hasn't appeared yet. That's because we haven't added him in here. We will be looking at later in the tutorials. Let's just go right click player and click new player. So there's our object, and there's our world. So that is the first step in Java game development. We have now created a background for our world and an object for our world, for our game. So that is the first tutorial. Next time we will be looking at adding objects, not like this, but automatically spawn when we start the game and removing them. Thank you very much. Be right back.